Hey guys, so about um, a week ago I ordered a uh, RAM upgrade for my Dell OptiPlex 755. Um, I just ordered two 2 GB each sticks. This is 4 gigs of RAM of the Crucial Dell Certified High Performance Memory because that's, uh, that's good stuff I read online. Um, this computer already comes with two in it, so in general we're going to have six. I, I'm trying to max to eight, but, you know, I just spent money on a Logitech keyboard and this computer is supposed to be kind of a... What the hell is that? I'll clean it off. It's supposed to be kind of a lower budget kind of deal because the point, whole point was to have a high performance computer for cheap. Kind of blew over that limit. I already put about $100 into this computer um, and I'm still trying to get more stuff. So for now, uh, we have 4 gigs of RAM here plus what's in there. Um, I believe Tiger Direct put 4 512s in there. So that's going to have to come out. So I'm going to be running about 5 gigs until I order the, the rest of the 4. I'm going to order another one of these probably this week or so and then put them in. That's not going to require a video, so I'm just going to do a basic video on a RAM upgrade on a Dell Optiplex because there's not a lot of videos out there of that, so. Here it is. All of its pride and glory. I'm going to let's open her up and get the RAM installed. Okay, so once you get the cover off, the first thing you got to do is uh, get rid of this um, DVD drive. So you got to lift this little tab they put here. And, you know, of course if I had a tripod this would be so much easier. So I'm just going to put this down here for a second. Lift tab, slide back, like that. I just, lift tab, slide back. I know, I'm sorry, I don't have a tripod. And it should just gently work it out of its position. Okay, so at this point in the process, take a shiny new RAM, make sure it's lined up right with the motherboard. Do not touch the prongs, of course. And slide it in there and push down until you hear a click. It's going to be a little firm, especially on a newer computer because the clips are tight. So don't be afraid you're going to break anything. Just get in there and uh, shove it until it clicks on both sides like so. Well, and this one's going to be a little more stubborn, I think. There we go. Alright, so at this point in the installation we have uh, two gigabytes of RAM installed. Now we're going to take the other two and just pop it in, make sure it's lined up with the other one and with the motherboard. Repeat process, just slide it in there and push down until it clicks, snaps shut. Like so. Just verify that it did close. Yep, that is nice and close. And there's our RAM upgrade. Pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to plug it in, turn it on. Once you get this disk drive back in place, plug it in, turn it on, and uh, we'll go from there. If you're planning on saving this memory, you don't want to touch it or anything, so you can actually put it back in the original packaging. This is just one gigabyte of RAM. I might keep that laying around for whatever. And then we're going to work our disk drive back into its rightful position. Now oh, there we go. You just gotta work that in. Once you get that in, see it should slide right in. Alright, we're good to go. See, the thing I love about Dell is that they're pretty easy to work on. Make sure these cables don't get in the way of anything. I just like to be neat about that. So, if you want, you can fold them. Fold them over here, or just leave them where they are. I'm gonna leave them where they are for now, because that's how it was when I got the computer in the first place. Let's get that shit out of the way. Yeah, looks good. Make sure while you're in here, you're also gonna want to make sure there's no dust or anything uh, screwing up your, your motherboard. So this is a brand new computer, so nothing is clogged with dust, and the ventilation system is working very well. So yeah, I shouldn't have that problem. If I did, I'd, I'd be a little pissed. So you, at this point, put the cover back on, turn your computer on, uh, make sure that it reads the four gigs. If it doesn't, then there's troubleshooting things you have to go through. Uh, but you should be good from now on. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Alright, so we've got her booted and in setup. I just finished setting up all the cables in the back. And, uh, entered F2 for setup. Just to make sure everything's alright. It should say installed memory, 5 gigs. And it gives you the memory setup. I like that Dell does this. Um, so we have two 512s and two 2 gigs. Exactly what I wanted. And, uh, I'm gonna order another two, uh, another four and remove these 512s and put four four. That'll be eight. And it looks like it's reading all of them, so let me just do a practice boot run real quick. And we're going to exit. 
it should be right into the OS, like, alright, we're good. It's probably going to take a little longer because I just took the whole thing apart. and So, yeah. Yeah, normally it takes so, a little bit less time than that. Moment of truth. Alright, so it looks like we're all ready to go. Guys, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. If I look like I don't know what I'm doing in the installation, I do. I have no tripod, and you try installing memory with one hand. And removing the disk drive. It's a big pain in the ass, especially on these small form factors. So thanks for watching.